hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the very first F1 2019 game experiment. Uh, yes, uh, what if Mercedes powered everybody in Formula 1? Uh, this I got this idea from somebody on Twitter mentioned, somebody joked on Twitter, I can't remember who, but somebody joked on Twitter saying that, that uh, what if Mercedes powered, this is of course after McLaren announced they'd be partnering Mercedes from 2021 uh, onwards, 2024 at least. So you can see Mercedes in this mod is completely unavailable. I will upload this mod uh, tomorrow. I haven't got time to do it tonight, but you can see that Ferrari, uh, very unusual to see a Mercedes logo on the side of that, uh, does not belong there in the, in the slightest, but um, for the purpose of this mod, uh, also all the engine have been changed to Mercedes, the sounds, the engine files have all been changed, so the gearbox and everything to do with the engine, the fuel and stuff like that is all set to the Mercedes engine um, as per what Mercedes have. Uh, just to clarify that, but you can see there we've got the uh, Red Bull there with no Honda, no Honda badges in sight. We've got the Mercedes instead of the uh, Inf Infinity, Infinity, whatever they're called, badges. Uh, Renault, I, I, I will, uh, you can't really get rid of Renault otherwise because otherwise uh, I put Mercedes on the Haas in place of Rich Energy. Um, yes, Rich Energy is still on the Haas in the game, but um, I mean, why not? Um, but it's still it's disgustingly coloured. I'm not. I was never a fan. The the Gold Lotus was never a fan of McLaren. Of course, I've got Mercedes on the side there under the engine cover and also. On the back there so, uh, this will be the car that we'll actually be driving uh, as you can see from the thumbnail so um, yes uh, Force India have replaced that bookie sponsors with Mercedes um, uh, I mean why not M Alpha I put Mercedes instead of the Swiss uh, sponsors there's not a lot of room on the Alpha I uh, think Toro Rosso instead of the Honda badge is again the easiest decision to do. Um, and finally the Williams which has got the worst livery in the world. You can't even edit the paint file. Um, there is no file for it because it's that simple. It's on the side. So yes, uh, if you want to download it, uh, you shall be able to do that from tomorrow. I shall come back tomorrow. Uh, and it should be in the description below. Um, I shall endeavour to remind myself. So this is me reminding myself uh, tomorrow to be able to do that. So yes, uh, it's just a simple livery, but it's simple livery changes. It's not too extravagant, but um, the, Mer the Mercedes is there, even on that Ferrari. It, nothing's happened to the Mercedes. Obviously, we're on 1.12, so the new McLaren uh, livery is updated. Um, so it's got the McLaren app info which looks a lot bigger on its file than that. So we're going to be racing uh, in McLaren, Carlos Sainz and the track where we need is somewhere where straight line speed um, is most effective. Um, I thought about Azerbaijan but Azerbaijan's middle sector is really cornery. Um, so the temple of speed itself, there can only be one place. The Autodromo Nacional Monza, which um, I went to earlier this year. If you uh, know that, that, that was so high for. I recorded Final Fantasy art before this. Um, uh, we'll go one shot and practice uh, usual stuff there and there for me because I'm a noob. Dynamic. I don't want to have dynamic weather um, in case because I've got. I run this test, but um, in both the wet and in both uh, with normal and with the mod. Um, so yes, into qualifying, uh, one shot qualifying. I, I always feel that one shot qualifying uh, is a, always a disadvantage uh, against the player. But um, yes, we're doing immediately well into turn one. It's not gone so well out of there. Uh, probably because I'm only running three, four wings, but um, uh, might usually run a bit high, but. Uh, McLaren has actually got good sight. You see, we've got this. We've we've pulled up through the braking zone, and then of course coming out there. 
We're still a little bit down, so it's all about downforce and sashi. That's all that is separating these cars. The engine is by default. Uh, and you can see here from this, it, uh, Mount the Norris is in sixth place. We're down in tenth. You see, we, Leclerc not doing very well. I'm, I'm not sure what happens with Leclerc's AI, but he, it seems to be down. You see the two Williams struggling, of course. Hulkenberg down there as well. Renault, Renault really don't have the best of it. They've been shafted in the game. Uh, they still haven't fixed that, uh, Code Masters. But you can see we're up to seventh. And McLaren are doing, uh, have a lot better. Uh, they didn't get shafted basically in the update and rightly so um, like you can see but see here with the Mercedes engines we're a couple of tenths down on Hamilton of course because of course uh, Mercedes have got the best aero maybe just about the best sashi but compared to Red Bull or I'm not so sure Ferrari are going to be what because of course their car is all about engine speed and as we cross the line um, it is P6 uh, so yeah simple lap um, and with qualifying complete, let's review 123 our zero uh, we'll see how we do that against the uh, against the normal uh, with Renault power later in the video uh, but that's where that's the benchmark for us 22.5 Mercedes Red Bull are happy as well, uh, Ferrari not so split by the, the clerk has actually been split away from Vettel by myself and of course Lando Norris, um, uh, Danny Kvyat there, Toro Rosso uh, haven't doing well, they would do benefit from Mercedes power, Renault are definitely not benefiting, Racing Point are definitely not benefiting from Mercedes power, Alfa Romeo are sort of halfway there, I mean their points are really uh, right there, but uh, they they're sort of lost out, really. Um, but yes, let's move now uh, to the Italian Grand Prix. Welcome, one and all, and we're in for a real treat at this classic circuit here today. The crowd are ready to go, the cars are ready to go, and we're just about set for lights out. Welcome to the Italian Grand Prix. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. It's race day yet again and joining me for a chat, Anthony Davidson. And our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Gasly, Sebastian Vettel and Sainz, Norris, Leclerc, Fiat and Sergio Perez, Ricardo, Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen and Albon. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Nico Hülkenberg, and Lance Stroll, Russell and Robert Kubica takes the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. You can run side by side into the Retifilio, but don't break too late on these cold tyres or you... Well, thanks Jeff, I'm going to cut you off, because oh, why not? Um... It's the Retifilio Turn 1 now, lights out and away we go, it's as usual on F1 2019 and F1 2018 and pretty also F1 2017, it's an absolute horrendous start, and you can see here we're into Turn 1 now, we come across, you can see there we've lost a bit of a front wing. Next attempt now, uh, attempt number 2, we're coming into Turn 1 once again, this time though we forgot to break, and out the race we go. So, attempt number three, third time lucky, I mean, why not? This time, once again, side by side with Kivia, into turn uh, the Retofilio. 
I'm learning, I'm learning the track names. It's, it's only been two and a half, almost three years actually. YouTube, we said that was a horrendous term. And the clerk has lost absolutely heap load of places. Up now to the uh, outside the banking. Uh, we'll come into the breaking um, of all this. Uh, left, right, uh, down the inside of Daniel Ricardo, the Australian news. Has, has never actually had Mercedes power. Um, a lot of drivers haven't had Mercedes power if you think about it. Verstappen, uh, as you can see there, that we, uh, I don't know, that's the wrong one. Because uh, we sort of corner cut because we've got, uh, I'm on a pad. Um, and also, I'm not used to, I've been on the Italian, Italian circuit there, we did get a bit of there. Um, Usually, usually what happens in a Karima weekend, I get, I do a couple of practice laps, even for Final Fantasy where there isn't really any R&D points, so I always do a practice lap and a half at least, just to remember the circuit, uh, but this is me going fresh into the game, first lap, literally first laps on the game, you see here moving to uh, lap two, um, closing in on Perez, Ricardo sort of dropped back, I'm not sure that's his aero for him. Down the inside of Sergio Perez, and he's given us front wheel damage. Rather, uh, rather we've given, we've tapped with him. Thank you, Jeff. Shut up now. Understood. Copy that. I'm not going to come into the pits to replace that. If it was Monaco, then yes, but we're here. And you can see here that this is going side by side, that they've got the same engine, uh, as you can hear in the background. Um, you can see here that and somehow this mod is sort of a little bit crazy because Pierre Gasly is leading. Now, side by side action now through uh, the Scarry chicane. I go a little bit wide and come out in the path of Perez. There was a little bit of contact. Perez dropped off after that. You can see here that everybody's slowing each other. We dive bomb uh, very badly there. Lando Norris, I mean, we couldn't let him win otherwise. It would be uh, uh, dreadful. Uh, smirk on his face, so uh, definitely going to get past him. We're going to line up Bottas. I mean, Bottas is AI. We're going to let actually lift off. We're going to go down the inside. Of Bottas is AI. is not going to give us. And then, just for good measure, Lando Norris is it decides to come back. Uh, but you see here that Kvyat and Bottas are going side by side. Kvyat is up in P5. Double dive bomb. Why not? Uh, we why not? I mean, we yeah, quite right. We got the warning there. Um, there's, li there's never any room to go three wide there, um, and might be so. But Bottas and Gibby are going to keep battling. Hopefully, Norris can get into action, uh, but it looks like to be stepping away behind the clerk in the end. And P5, very good job. And nothing from Jeff, even though I told him to shut up. But still. So yes, on the line here, you see that it was very close between Vettel and uh, Le uh, Verstappen. Um, now, if it, if they'd gone up to the line, I need to find the finish line, because of course the finish line is not like Australia, which is the start line. Uh, there's the finish line. In actual fact, uh, Verstappen is almost a full car, it's not actually that close actually, he's, he's, he's a full car length uh, away. Um, so yes, uh, so Hamilton won from Gasly in the end uh, with the slipstream. Uh, you can see there that the two Williams, Giovinazzi had to come in the pits for some reason. Alfa Romeo have been robbed, Haas, uh, and Racing Point not doing well. Uh, but the likes of Red Bull and Mercedes having the best time of their life. Uh, so yes, and this is what this is what qualifying what did. Uh, so we were three tenths slower with the Renault engine than we were with the. Uh, uh, this is what we did with the Mercedes engine, uh, and we were uh, three tenths slower in the Renault engine. Bear in mind, I also made sure I didn't go quite so wide into turn one, so I probably. That advantage is probably be a little bit more. So, McLaren will want to watch from 2021 with Mercedes power. Uh, 
if Mercedes decide to withdraw, because of course they don't have a contract to race for 2021. But yes, moving to the race, for this was the, this is with Renault power now. Uh, you can see we're qualifying P5 and then we were slower because of course the Ferraris, uh, the Red Bulls got him. Verstappen had a shocker. You can see here we've left off, lift off. And you can see here the contact model has been absolutely horrific. You can see here Stroll makes contact with us on our right side, but yet we lose our front left end plate. But anyway, after Stroll clouded into us, Perez finished in P6 and we came home in P7. Uh, so you see the racing points are now for Romeo's there. They've sort of been screwed over if Mercedes were to power anybody, everybody. That's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and you see more F1 2019 game experiments. If you've got a game experiment in mind uh, that you'd like to see me do, then please let me know in the comments below, and I'll endeavour to get it done at some point or other. Uh, just a quick mention, of course, Final Fantasy will be coming hopefully Sunday. Uh, Sunday is the day that I've set for it to come out. Uh, I would have loved to have been earlier, but I haven't had a, haven't had a lot of time. Uh, hopefully I can get a squeeze in an F1 2020 game ideas video, maybe tomorrow or Friday. Uh, fingers crossed about that. But, but that's where I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time. Take care and goodbye.